Hi geometry students. Um, so we're working with circles as you may remember and you're gonna have to complete a worksheet today that um, has you completing the square and basically going from the general form of an equation to the standard form of an equation which is this. It's the equation that we've seen our circles in. Um, again where HK is our center of our circle and R is equal to the radius. Okay, and remember we have um, X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals one, uh, R squared. So right now we have this equation um, here but it's in general form. And again we want it in standard form so what we have to do is complete the square um, for two variables basically for x's and y's in order to get it into this other form. Now the first thing we have to do um, and yours may not start off like this but you might see numbers in front of the x squared and the y squared terms. If you see that you want to divide everything by the that number. They should always be the same the two numbers that are in front of the x squared and y squared so don't worry about that but um, if you see numbers in front of x squared and y squared, you're going to have to divide everything by that number. So we're going to start by doing that. We're going to divide everything by 2. Because we want a 1 out in front of um, basically dividing everything in the whole equation by 2. We want a 1 out in front of our x squared and y squared terms. So we will get that. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we just get x squared same thing here y squared 1 y squared and then 12 divided by 2 is 6 so I have 6x 20 divided by 2 is 10 so I have 10 y 36 divided by 2 is 18 and 0 divided by 2 is 0 so now I have it in the form that I want it in to complete the square okay so first thing we do with these equations, and you're going to see ones that are just like this on your worksheet, you want to start by subtracting the constant from both sides. So we're going to do that. It's going to subtract 18 from both sides of the equals sign. Okay, there's the equals sign. Um, that'll get rid of it on the left side. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus y squared plus 6x plus 10y equals negative 18. Okay? Don't worry about that negative. Um, it should work out in the end. So um, now what I need to do is group the x and y's together. Group the letters together. So I'll just say group x's and y's. Okay, so we start again by subtracting the constant subtract the constant, and then group the x's and the y's. So I want to do x squared plus 6x, because that has the x in it. So I group those together, and now I'm going to group the y's together. So say plus y squared plus 10y equals negative 18. And now we are ready to go ahead and complete the square. Now that um, really all that is is we're trying to create a perfect square trinomial. Back in Algebra 2 um, you had some of these, um, or I should say back in Algebra 1, you probably had to practice some of these where you saw it was x squared plus 6x plus some number. Um, that number was a perfect square and when you factored it you would get x plus, and you'd have this number here that multiplied, these two numbers would be the same number and they would multiply to give you that number. So um, how you find this is um, we take half of b. b, remember a is the leading, uh, the number out in front of the leading coefficient, or the, the number out in front of the x squared, that's um, a. 
B is this number, the one out in front of X, and C um, is the constant. So AX squared plus BX plus C. That's the standard form of, um, of a parabola, basically. And so, um, again, A is 1 here, B is 6, and C is, we don't know it yet, we're going to try to find that perfect number, that perfect square. So we take, again, half of B, or half of 6, and we get a 3. Now this number is um, important in two ways. First, we take this number. This is actually going to be our magic number that goes into both of these when we factor it. Okay, x plus 3 and x plus 3. Now if we square the 3, so do that magic number squared, that's going to be the number that completes the, the perfect square. Okay, 3 times 3 is 9 and 3 plus 3 is 6. So that's going to be our number that we need that completes the square. Okay, um, so again, half of b, half of 6, we're going to put it in here as the factored form. And when we square that number, we're going to put it up here. That's going to tell us um, what we need to add, again, over here. And since we added it on this side of the equation, we're creating our perfect square for the x's. Since I added a number over here, I have to add it to the other side. So, so far, again, I have this. And I added, again, a 9. So I need to add that same number over here because I have to be equal, all right? So now um, we completed this. I will rewrite this being as x plus 3 times x plus 3 is just x plus 3 squared. I'm going to rewrite it like that. And look, that actually looks very similar to our equation up here. We wanted to write it as x minus h squared or x plus h squared, either one. Um, it's just going to mean that in this case our our value is going to be negative, but we want it to look like this. So, so far we're, we've done a good job here. Now we got to complete the square for y. So we got to think, okay, uh, well, y squared plus 10y plus what will end up giving me um, a perfect square trinomial. So, again, this is really similar to before. This is the middle number. We're going to take half of it, just like before. We took half of 6, and then we squared it, put that number here, and add it to the other side. And that was our magic number. The half, half of the 6 was our magic number. Do the same thing. So we're going to take, again, um, 10, divide it by 2. That's our magic number. Remember, that tells us how we're going to factor it. We're going to factor it as y plus 5 times y plus 5, okay? And then if we square that number, that tells us what to add to both sides. 5 squared is 25. So 25, if you put a 25 there, then you've just created a perfect square trinomial, meaning uh, what number times itself um, gives you 25? 5 does. So 5 times 5 is 25 but 5 plus 5 is 10. So we've just created that perfect square trinomial. And just remember, um, again, whatever we added, so we have that so far, um, whatever we added to the left side to create that, we have to add it to the right side of the equal sign. Okay? So now we're pretty much ready to go. We're just going to rewrite this just like we did um, this one here. So we wrote, rewrote it instead of x plus 3 times x plus 3, we rewrote it as x plus 3 squared. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do y plus 5 squared. And then all we have to do on the right side is just combine these right here. So um, negative 18 plus a positive 9, remember those are opposites, so that's going to be a negative 9 right there, because the bigger one's negative. 
And then if we combine these two together, um, we're actually going to oddly get um, a 14. Uh, no, sorry, not a 14, a 16. 25 minus 9 is 16. All right, that's more like it. So um, now we have just completed the square to put our equation into the uh, standard form. This is standard form. And now we can identify the, um, the center and the radius. So just remember, this right here is our equation. This is our standard equation. So we can kind of see now, compare it to this, and see what our center is. So what number, if you did x minus this number, you'd get a, a positive 3. Well, that's going to be, h is going to be a negative 3 then. Our center is going to be negative 3. Because x minus negative 3, minus negative is positive. Okay? Same thing here. y minus what number gives you a plus 5, a positive 5 here. Um, so if you did, or, you know, how we plug this in. So um, k would have to be negative. So that's negative 3, negative 5. That's our center. That's hk. And this number squared is 16. So remember, our radius squared is 16. So that means uh, 4 is going to be our radius. And that is all you have to do on that. So I hope this helps um, in addition to their video as well. Um, this was a little bit more of a challenge just because it had numbers out in the front in the beginning. But um, after you've watched their videos and these, you should be able to complete the problems that are on the worksheet.